so outside uh, Tyron uh, looks at Clerk and says must be a bit weird for you right what all of this he does the, the castle place and uh, you know Galen not particularly being excited at first Oh, people very often aren't excited to see me. I'm kind of used to it by now. <laughs> God, that's so depressing. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, pats you uh, on, the, on, the, on the shoulder and says, Glurk, never change. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boss. Just keep these two uh, people alive and uh, it'll be fine. Ask if you can drink. I know so. I can drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as as it, it, I'm assuming he's leaving me with with them. Well, they they leave the the room, and uh, Tyron uh, looks at uh, you all and says, uh, "Well, the two of you take good care of Clerk. He's one of my best men." I thought it was. Hey, I around. thought he was he was supposed to be guarding us. Well, yeah, sure, but I mean, to a degree, you should take care of him as well. All right. That's an interesting proposition. Fair enough. So I look at Glurk. So people are trying to kill you too. Mostly, most days. Yeah. Well, so Glurk. Oh well. uh, yeah. Since we're apparently hanging out together, I'm Siegfried, and he extends a hand. You see that I, uh, it's a very uh, fairly messy appearance. He's he looks about as um, competent in hanging out with others as you are. I think. <laughs> I, I uh, Glurk does the um, the the predator. If you've seen that film, the predator, like with, with both <laughs> hands and the muscles. <laughs> says, I'm Glurk. Uh, uh, hi. <laughs> Your bard's weird. Yes, I'm a wizard. See, but that's well. Yes. <laughs> Fine, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Bard wizard multi class. Boom, it happened. <laughs> and oh. I, I I turn to uh Nafmi as well and, and I extend my hand. Look. Alexei. And I, I give like a proper squeeze this time, you know, kind of test of strength thing going on. Oh, you basically crush my hand. Well, you know, like yeah, you know, like when when you when you meet someone who's clearly uh, uh, fairly martial and mm. strong, you, you go in for like a kind of like. Oh, I get that. See who's stronger, kind of thing. Yeah. Well, my character basically goes, <laughs> "And you're stronger, you're stronger, you're stronger." <laughs> uh, Alexa might be able to slip his hand out relatively easily. That's uh, the most he can do. Uh, I'll be like, oh, "Oh, yeah, you got that. You got me. You got me. That's you. That's you. Tell you go." <laughs> Uh, so, so, what do you do for fun, Clerk? Drink. My man. Yeah. Read? What? what? Read? Books? Books? You are the weirdest bard I've ever met, really, Siegfried. Alright. We are going to get some drinks. It's going to be awesome. We are yeah. going to... What is the inn we haven't gone to lately? We could go to the Lost Goose, which is the most didn't beautiful. You want to, didn't you want to go and see about your brother? It so the getting... Lost Goose, right? So we're going to do the drinking, and we're going to get absolutely wasted. Red Deer Inn has better meats. What are we going for, you guys? Are we hungry? I could eat. Yeah. Red Deer Inn it is. Then at least we'll get Siegfried to drink something. All right. So, you guys are going to the Red Deer Inn. Yes, we are. Uh, we get, I've really given Red Deer Inn a great description. It's called the fun place. <laughs> <laughs> Red Deer Inn. Like, the sign outside just says, a fun place. Fun place. Yes. <laughs> That's this big, burly, burly uh, bouncer <laughs> door. Yeah. And he just smiles at you with like a gap between his teeth. Ritter Inn is probably uh, the fanciest inn in in uh, Ristad. Uh, Good. Uh, the funnest. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, it's, it's the place where they actually wash the plates between customers. 
I like that. Yeah. So, you guys spend a bit of time there. Do you guys feel like uh, role playing a bit of interaction between you guys, or shall we? Well, actually, that, that question: Do you guys want to play? <laughs> 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 I'm 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 good with both things. I mean, I I like role play. So, so uh, assassins are a lot of them. The assassins, yeah. Um, I I can say a little bit about this because you will know a little bit. Uh, you know the Tidebringer sisters. Uh, you you have heard of them well enough. Um, you know that uh, they have always been three sisters, but apparently now there are four of them. Um, one of them is really, they, really young. <laughs> yeah, probably one of them is, well, yeah, something like that. Um, and they've carried out uh, several high-profile assassinations uh, across all of Osland. Nice. Yeah, there's there's a few of them, six or seven. I think they're uh, a family of some kind. I think yeah, I heard uh, of those. I, they've, they've killed people. They kill people for a living. Wow. Cool. So, not only are we are we targeted by assassins, we're targeted by famous assassins. Yeah. That is the best kind awesome. of assassin. I'm hoping to kill at least three of them. I oh, understand. That oh, sounds but they like could really, but, but they could get the Siegfried by getting his kid apprentice. I mean, can you imagine the drama? He has like this kid apprentice. He's real cute and everything, and he does whatever Siegfried wants, and he wants to like... Is he like learning an instrument? He's learning music, tables, notes, most usually. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. (sighs) Look at that. (sighs) You see this vein bulging in my forehead. What, what is so, that apprentice called again? Walcott. Walcott, yeah, Walcott. I'm going to have to tell him to get safe. I'm going to have to take some precautions, put an alarm on the house at, during the daytime. Oh. But if you tell You're him like to this... be uh, supposed to keep him safe, then? Isn't that your job as his mentor, teacher, master? No, I'm to teach him magic. That's that's what I know. Is and your maybe apprentice... Some... There was legal guardian. Yes, I can't believe it myself, but it's actually the truth. <laughs> this was such. This is the part idea. where someone brings more beer. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you you guys are just uh, kind of chatting for a little bit, and then uh, you guys receive more beer, and after a while, uh, Sigrik, which is one of the Blood Bowl players, and. Um, Platt and a few others join you at the table. Um, yeah, uh, quick question: Is the yeah. elf is the elf in- included? No, the elf, <laughs> the elf isn't here. Okay. She's um, awesome. This is pretty great. And uh, Sigrik uh, introduces himself to Glurk and uh, says basically, "Ah, a dwarf. I'm Sigrik. Good to meet you." Ah, uh, he's a human, right? <laughs> <laughs> he he is yes, a human. Also. I'm Gluck. Ah, Sigrik. Sigrik, meet our bodyguard. Hey, I haven't uh, seen you in the gambling den. No. Yeah. <laughs> you gamble, cool. Sigrik? Ah, well, a little bit. Not much. Keep away from that stuff, man. That'll ruin a career. You drink. I hate to have to break your legs. It, what he said. I've never lost my career due to drinking. Yeah. He uh, looks at Clerk and says, "You can Did try you breaking my legs, but together? I can promise you it won't be easy." All right. I we'll be your full full hammer. <laughs> uh, say, it was a manner of speech. Look, I oh. need to. I need them okay. Uh, legs. Okay. Okay. I put my wall hammer back. So, since you <laughs> boys are here, I took these guys out here because I figured. <laughs> They need to learn how to drink proper. How about you guys join us? Who did you bring? I missed that. Sorry. Uh, Pat Carpens and a few other guys that you don't know too well yet. All right. Cool. But players yeah. from the team. Yeah. Should Basically, we be, uh, shouldn't the, we be like above that status-wise? I say that in character to Alexei. 
you know what? I look at you and say, you know what? How about we do like this duo thing where you're above that status wise, but I get to drink with the boys. Sigrid Sands uh, says, uh, yeah, I guess that will make you the pansy and you the man. Nice. Let's drink. <laughs> Though if you don't want to put your pussy secret, you could change your mind. No, no, he's fine with that. Oh, Secret kind of just looks at uh, Secret a little bit like, uh, really. Yeah. I look at I look at uh, like uh, look at Blurk and I say they're having a stare off. Oh, is that what's happening? Exactly. Right. Or maybe they fell asleep. I'm not sure. The drink's getting to me. Already, we haven't even started drinking yet. What are you doing? Uh, what have you been doing? Oh, it's not, not the most convincing of uh, of thoughts. No, I think. Um... I think we, as uh, coaching staff, need to uh, need to preserve a certain professional distance. All right, fine, cool. Drinks for everyone else. I and we're joining in. Ah, that's the stuff. All right, you guys start drinking. Um, and from what I, I gather, sure that we have food as well. Some cheese, some bread, I, some uh, meat. I sit alone at my table with my book, taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you'll notice me actually bringing the book to my ear and listening to what it has to say. Then say something he back. strokes it and kisses it. It's weird. But, you know. And the book goes, <laughs> Give me a beer. Get me a beer. Why it's can't we drink book. with the cool guy kids? <laughs> Why are we always standing up by our side all alone? No. But um, do, the guy, do the two of you uh, let yourself be dragged along and basically drink uh, yourself basically into a stupor? Hell yes. All right. It depends on how long my constitution lasts. Um, kind of since, since there is a dwarf, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, Glurk is down for a drinking contest, like right. full on last man standing. All right, so All right. so I concede. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I mean, if you guys go uh, and drink a lot. Yeah, there is basically something random that will happen to you guys. I will want that to happen. I want that to happen. Yes. All right. So, it what is. happens is basically you guys drink yourself uh, to such a point that you probably won't remember what you did last night, uh, the next uh, day. I just want us to wake up wearing like a, a, a pink tutus on the on the top of the the castle with an orc lying next to us, dressed in a suit. Well, um, I've already ruled a few things up, and to see which one of you get, uh, which of those options you get, uh, each of you can roll your charisma check. Oh dear God! <laughs> charisma? <laughs> yes, charisma. All right. But, so you're going to get into a fight, and you're going to get laid. <laughs> is this is is this like? What do I roll? Is this like, do I don't roll? let the barbarian roll. Just click your. <laughs> just click oh, your yeah, charisma. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Well, I mean. Uh, ah. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh, you guys right, you're all better than me. I'm all right. Wake up with the orc and the feather in my ass. All right. So <laughs> before before we go to what happened to you guys, we're gonna go to what happened uh, to uh, Siegfried because well, what happens to him is basically uh, he goes in the evening. evening. A cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Probably. there's a bit more. There's a bit more to that. So I'm going to stop this music because after a while I imagine or I'm just going to say as long as Secret doesn't mind that I imagine that after a while Secret is going to get a bit tired of you know everyone also, just being <coughs> drunk yeah also Alexei's comment has made me worry a little bit about Walcott because if I'm a target then he's the target so um, if, um, if Ooh, nothing's happening here in the bar there. where I feel like the, the usual outcast that I am I will probably uh, finish my beer by myself in the table, just to make sure that I'm not sent away or anything by these vagrants, <clears throat> and uh, then I will indeed retire to my cabin and uh, see if Walcott is doing all right. I mean, I'm sure he's missed me. He had to buy groceries for himself because I ruined everything with my spell. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. That was awesome. So, when you return home, you find your uh, house has been transformed. The walls, the floors, even the kitchen seem spotless. You never thought it would have been possible to get all those stains out of the wall, wooden he walls. He mastered Unseen Servant! He did it! Or oh, he worked really, really hard. 
Uh, it's either that or he, he's yeah, one of the other. But mm. Volkert has somehow managed it. Okay. Um, awesome. As you hit, as you enter the room proper, you're hit by the scent of something sweet. Your eyes follow your nose to the kitchen counter, where a freshly baked pie lays underneath a glass dome. Next to it stands a pot. As you look into the pot, you find your favorite uh, kind of soup is prepared inside. W what kind of so soup would you feel like? Um, <clears throat> a uh, a uh, spicy, soup. spicy pea soup. Yes. All right. Hey, do. But it's hey, a spicy uh, pea soup. So. The pot, the pot has kept most of the heat, but it's only lukewarm at this point. So it's probably me standing there for a while. I, I look around. So there's, uh, there's only this this room and uh, two small uh, sleeping rooms. Yeah. So I say, uh, Walcott. Yeah, you will spot Walcott on the couch. His body half covered uh, by a blanket, and his face obscured by a book. Aww. I'm so proud. <laughs> All right. I'll, um, and they I'll... and they said that Secret's heart grew three times its size that day. Yeah, this is before I realized that the assassins already got to him, of course. Oh, um, God. <laughs> <laughs> then and his head you... falls off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, actually, it's one of the assassins. So when you remove the book, yeah. the assassin's like, "Here's Johnny." Ah. <laughs> uh... I uh, I uh, try a sip of the soup. Is it good? It's good. Wow. I'm I'm honestly very very proud of of Walcott because I didn't think he could do it this quickly. I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll cover him up in the blanket and uh, leave a note on the table saying uh, uh, you did it. I'm proud of you. And then I'll leave him to sleep for now. Oh. As you're kind of finishing uh, that, um, you hear the book, or you feel the book moving, which usually means that it wants to talk. Okay, I uh, I ungag the book, and What's the book on? speaks. I feel something has awakened. Something uh, dangerous. Okay, is uh, can you be more specific? I don't know what it is, but it feels like the chaos gods. That's good, right? That's what we were going, kind of going for here. I think it's about time that I tell you a little bit about myself. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you are willing to listen. Yes. Yes. Should I take notes or something? He looks <laughs> inside for something to, something to write on because usually when the book's talking, you know, it's hard to write inside and shit. This isn't a spell, so it's not like you need to remember every word. All right. It's I'm listening. About me and how I became what I am. I once was a wizard with great power. I was similar to you in a way. Just like you, the book spoke to me. Oh, there's two of you in there? <laughs> <laughs> Skip the book, strikes again! I don't know. Hmm. Ever since I entered the book, I haven't heard her voice. She had the most beautiful voice I've ever heard. Angelic. And as she spoke to me, it was almost like I was listening to sweet melodies. And she knew things. Things I never dreamed possible. Her knowledge of magic was seemingly limitless. I... Well... That doesn't matter anymore. So I was ambitious. Did did she teach you how to get in there? I sort of learned by myself. Ah. But I can explain you why I did. 
when I was young, I wanted to change the world. I wanted power, glory, wealth. I wanted everything. And I was foolish enough to believe I could achieve it. There was magical power locked away in this book. And when I obtained it, she spoke to me. And I felt like I had finally found a way to get all I wanted and more. Mm -hmm. So. What, what happened to her then? She was something of a guide to me. She helped me. But the spells I truly wanted to unlock, the ones that were truly powerful, I couldn't master them. She never told me so, but I knew she was disappointed. And then um, one day, yeah, I found a page that spoke of the Chaos Gods and of the power they held. By opening myself up to Chaos, I could call on that power. Power greater than I ever held before. That sounds splendid. Could you teach me? No, listen. What I'm trying to say is that that sort of power is power you need to tread carefully around. It is dangerous. Sure, I got it. Yeah. It was what brought me to this book in a way. I used the spells. The spells are read there. And chaos corrupted me. And once it took hold of my body, it was using my body for its own purposes. The only way I could save my mind was by putting myself in this book. Is that what happened to her as well? I don't know. But ever since I've been in this book, I haven't been able to hear her. How, how long ago are we talking? How long have you been in there? I don't know. I think it must have been easily a hundred years. Well, the year the year is now twenty five eighteen. One hundred one hundred and twelve years ago, then. So, are you immortal? Yes, I think so. But I'm also a book, or maybe even only a part of a book. I can see certain downsides in your, you know, dating life. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Siegfried's a filthy ledger, okay? <laughs> what I'm trying to say, Siegfried, is there is a lot of power that you can gain, but you need to yeah. learn from my path and learn that you need to be cautious when dealing with chaos magic. It gives the greatest power, but if you use it in the wrong way, you'll end up like me, or okay. worse. So I shield myself and I harness that power, right? That's a plan? Yes. And you're going to show me how? Over time. But we will take it slow. This will take, <laughs> this will take time. It's There's no rushing this. Time. Did she have a name? The girl whose body you're in? I'm, I don't even know. I mean, I, she had a name, yes. I, I'll tell her more about her some other time. Why are you telling me this now? Because of this dark force that you felt? Yes. I feel that it might lure you to do things. It's also a danger to this city. All right. Do you know whether it's one of the gods themselves or a demon or? It's not one of the gods itself, but linked to its influence, most likely. Hmm. Be careful, Secret. The Chaos Gods. They are very dangerous indeed. 
Ah, and here I thought I was going to bed so happy. Well, <clears throat> thanks, Tortar. <coughs> That's, um... Yep. Great power. <laughs> risk. Danger. He's Spider-Man. <laughs> Without the responsibility. Exactly. <laughs> what, do, I, do I really need to be put in the, in, into the bookshelf today? I thought you could just leave me on the table for now. <laughs> I um I always I always bring the book into my bedroom okay. and put an alarm spell uh, a separate alarm spell on my bedroom before I go to bed okay. because I ain't parting with the spell book <laughs> that's for sure all right well I thought I could be left on the table uh, this today in your room sure dude roll inside it's gonna possess Walcott that's what you'll do. Yeah, I, it's in my own room. I mean, I'm gonna roll an insight. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Yeah, he can. He can go on my bedside table. Yeah, he thinks that that's fine. All right, so uh, you go to bed. And, bum, uh, bum, bum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was that. Wake up. All right. I'm so proud of little Walcott, though. Yeah, he's done good. Yeah. Stones all made you proud. I'm gonna have to teach him another spell. <laughs> <laughs> so, time for drinking and basically what happens because of the drinking. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Right. <laughs> so we had charisma rolls, and I believe they were amazing. They yeah, yes. were an, sort an of eight for Alexei and, and a five for Glur. All right. So. Let's do Glurk first. Glurk has had a lot of it, lots to drink, and it's been a very, very long time since Glurk had so much to drink that he doesn't remember how he ended up where he is. But bubble players, eh? Do we roll con rolls or what? What? Do we roll con rolls just to see how bad we feel after this? Mm, uh, mm, not necessarily. That just determines that that just determines how many hours it takes before you wind up where you wind up if you keep going. Yeah, exactly. right, cool. Yeah, I think that makes sense. We're on the um, train. <laughs> and the train. when Clerk wakes, he very quickly realizes that he isn't in his own bed. Actually, he isn't in a bed at all. He's laying on stone slabs. And as you kind of sit up and look around, you see candles burning. And you look at yourself, and to your surprise, you are wearing the holy vestments of Sigmar. Do I have my warhammer? Your warhammer is laying... I don't want a kink shame, but... <laughs> The Warhammer is laying nearby. I grab it. All right. Do you see that there is an altar of Sigmar, which is looks slightly lopsided? And from underneath, well, you think you smell something coming from it. The stench of rotting flesh. Dude, did we break into somebody's catacombs and you wore, took his clothes? I guess so. Let's go check it out. Okay, you slept I want with to the investigate. Warrior. You're going to investigate. All right. So let's see an investigation roll, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. No. I no. think that's something to do with intelligence. That's going to be rubbish. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it is. Hey, I'm always, I'm always happy to roll rubbish rolls. <laughs> yeah. um, Failing is the best. <laughs> yeah. Investigation. Yeah. yeah. Investigation. Yeah. Boom. All right. Not that well, bad. I mean, uh, it's 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 not not that bad. You, I guess you go to the statue and kind of look around there, right? All right. Yeah. So you move to the statue of Sigmar, which is basically uh, depicting Sigmar himself. You kind of move it aside a little bit, and um, as you do, you see that there is something which was at least an animal or a person. You're not sure looking at it at first. But it's basically flesh and bones all mangled up. 
Does it look like I ate it? Or threw it, or, or threw it up? Uh, well, it's very clearly raw, so you hope you didn't. Uh, look, stuff happens when I'm drunk, right? <laughs> Put it past yourself. As you're kind no. of looking at this heap of flesh that's just there, you hear chanting coming from beyond the door. Okay. Looking around you now, you realize that this is a temple. It's, I guess it makes sense. All right. Uh, is is the chanting coming like from further inside the temple, or? Well, it sounds it sounds like uh, people are gathering outside uh, the door leading into the church. Okay. Is there like is there like a way out? There is but um well you've got uh I, I forget the term for it what's the sort of glass already with all the different colors painted stained glass stained glass stained, 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 glass. stained glass yeah stained glass you've got lots of stained glass uh, windows here okay so that's a possible way out you could just jump through one of them probably you'd break it and there's definitely a lot of chanting outside there are people gathering around outside the door, chanting something. Can I see if I can tell whether it's like a couple of people or like a big crowd? And it sounds like a few people chanting. And now that you're listening longer, you can also hear people talking. So it seems like that's a pretty big crowd. I jump out the window. All right. You jump out of the window. Uh, Dwarven and cannonball. A few people are outside. Oh, can I also rage? <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> sure. sure. Why not? Thank One you. and a half hours in, a naked sheepie is rolling down the streets. <laughs> hey, I'm not naked. I'm wearing Sigma's vestments. So, we're close you jump you outside, on. your war hammer in hand, uh, dressed in uh, <laughs> the vestments of Sigmar. Um... I guess you're not very quiet about it because you're raging. <laughs> no, I, I was trying to be quiet. About it. No. Okay, so uh, if the few people that are on the street look at you, you know, very surprised. It's very early in the morning. Um, what do you do? Run down the street uh, and start like shaking off the clothes, the the, oh. the vestment. Okay. Uh, while while I'm running away. Okay. You have the warhammer. Well, that's my warhammer. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you run uh, through the through Ristad, and I guess Be you go. I assume barefoot. Do Sorry? I do, do I have like any of my clothes? Yes, you do have your uh, your clothes uh, underneath. Oh, okay. So I'm not naked. No. Oh, thank you for oh. that. <laughs> See, I, I like I like kind of you know. Hopping round a corner, like pulling, pulling the the stuff off, and like dropping it as as I go. Yeah, I have the creeping yeah. sensation that I'm being abandoned. <laughs> no, I'm like still there, snoring in a corner. And if you just looked like around the corner, you would have found my body that's lying there. <laughs> Perhaps with a higher investigation check now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, you have less constitution, so you're going to be out for a while. Yeah, yeah wrong. No. But uh, where do you run to? Uh, I'd probably run back to the tavern to see yeah. if uh, if um, any of that them are still there. The because next Sense. I don't know where they live or <laughs> anything, so it'd probably be yeah. tav it'd be the tavern where we started first, and then do I do I know? I imagine I know where they work, like the the stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the training ground. So I, I, I'd probably I'd probably go there second to. All right, so you're them. really looking for them? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> um, people are surprised by your appearance, but. Uh, they're so confused that they don't really act on it. As you're running, a few blurred images of last night sort of appear to your mind. You remember that there was some sort of ritual outside of the village? There was a circle and a symbol in the circle and there was a woman in robes 
with sort of like antlers on her head. And then there was some sort of animal sacrifice. Sounds like a regular Saturday night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, I think you may be the father of a chaos demon soon. I think I may have got married to a chaos demon. <laughs> the demon just goes like, the massive demon going, bah, bah. Like, right. Oh, damn. So, <laughs> this again? <laughs> yeah, this again. <laughs> Let's go over to Alexei. Nice. Right. I'm, I'm, uh, still, I'm uh, still in the end drinking my coffee. Yeah, so there's, something, <laughs> there's something for this as well. So, yes. So, um, Alexei wakes up and he finds that he's in laying between bales of hay. Actually, he's underneath one. <laughs> oh, this could have ended up be- ended up better. It could have been worse, apparently. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, it stinks here a bit. Well, I pushed the bale of hay off me. Can I? Am I physically able to do so? Yeah, you can do so. Um, As as you do so, you look at your hands at a certain point, and you see that there's all sorts of colors on your hands. All sorts of colors? Yeah, just red, blue, every color you can think of is on your hands. All right, so apparently I've been finger painting. Um, as, as you kind of just... Am stand, I wearing clothes? Yeah, you are wearing clothes, your normal clothes. Excellent. Um, Have I shat myself? No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. You, you, you're, you're basically in a, a stable of one where one of the horses usually stands. Please don't and, be in the stable with that weird woman. The spy. Oh, yes, you're, you are in that stable. <laughs> From uh. beyond the door... Uh, you can hear that the old man who owns the stables is interrogating Alara, and uh, he says, I've had it with you. You're always some sort of nonsense. And what is all of this? He says, Look, I, I, I had nothing to do with this. They were like this when I got here. Yeah, well, I mean, this must be some sort of weird prank by you. Why are these horses wearing makeup? <laughs> All right, uh, my character's going to stealth the hell out of there. I'm going to take, let, let her take the blame for this one. And what are the, these hats? Oh no, no, no! Those are bonnets. <laughs> <laughs> the guys berating you. Don't. No. All right. So you try to sneak out. Yes. Let's see a stealth check. That's pretty good. I'm ninja hang the hell out of there. Right. You get he's out. Just, he's just sneaking out as a hay bale. Like, exactly. And he's just got legs underneath the hay bale moving. <laughs> and I have these yes. like multicolored fit- footprints. <laughs> this is a ver- very divin- <laughs> Divinity Original Sin kind of stealth check, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, you get out uh, scot-free. Nice. All right, YouTube. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.